Our last video is going to be based on using the finger traps for our collies and they're kept in the plaster room down here. Hello, this video is to demonstrate the use of the application of the finger traps for a distal radius reduction. Generally we tend to use these most successfully for an inline impaction that hasn't got dorsal or palmar angulation but they do work for those as well. The different um, variations that we have on the application for the history as it were, um, it works better for a fracture that has only just been done and isn't sort of three or four days old but again it can be attempted and it's entirely up to the clinician whether we do a hematoma block or whether we just use Entonox. Obviously you've got to consider how much muscular spasm the patient's in and their pain tolerance but it is possible to put these on and we do use it with just Entonox and something like Cocodamol um, without going for a complete hematoma block that needs monitoring etc. So basically the idea is you're just going to put these on um, leave inline traction in place and then leave it for between 20 and 25 minutes thereabouts roughly and then plaster in line so using the separate video that we've done for a below elbow exactly the same but you're going to plaster it in that position rather than it being done in that position um, while the traction is still in place and then you take the traction off at the end um, and that's about it so Sarah's going to demonstrate that one so we're using uh, three bags, three litres of saline for this. A litre being the equivalent to a kilogram. The idea is that we use a, a traction weight of three kilograms. Um, so obviously you have to be aware if the patient's had any elbow injuries in the past, anything like that, that might make the traction difficult because they need to be up in, in this position. So the um, equipment that you will need for this procedure is obviously your drip stand. The drip stand with the four links is actually easier because it's easier to, to attach the finger traps to them um, for the different tractions. So if you can find one of these, it's easier. Um, we've also got three different sizes of finger traps and you need one for the thumb, index finger and middle finger. So it's just deciding which one fits best and it's not going to slip off. And then over here we've just got the bag of the fluid in there for the three litres uh, that we're going to use for our weights. And we've got a bit of ActiMove sling to attach that to our drip stand. So we will show you that in just a moment. Okay. Um, okay, we'll just, I've just put the finger traps on. These ones fit really securely and you can tell that by if you just pull on it, it shouldn't slide off the finger. Um, just as a, a little guide to you, if I put this one on, it slides off as you can see then that's the wrong size so you'd have to go to the smaller size which is red and it's nice if you can go over the um, proximal phalanx there to get a really good secure grip yeah that one fits better so you just have to play around a little bit with what size is going to fit so this red one I've tried fits much better so you then know it's not going to slide off, that's a good fit. And just to remove them, you actually have to push back on it so it releases that tension and then just get your finger. So you're just pushing back on it to open it up and then it will slide off. Okay, a little bit fiddly. I've already put the um, stocking net on my patient so that it's all ready for plastering. I have done a little hole for the thumb as well. Um, otherwise you can't then plaster when they're still in traction so it's nice to have that ready beforehand. These I've already checked they all fit nicely and as I said because we've got the four prongs here you then can either slide them on there like so or you can just push them over the top of the bar to fit on like that and we'll put these two on the same bar and hope that we can get equal in actual fact, that looks like if I just give a little bit of traction there, that's fitting really nicely and they're all nice and taut, which is what you want. We do want the um, elbow crease to a nice 90 degrees so that we can rest the weights on the humeral bone here um, to get equal traction and so that you can see how nice the positioning of the wrist 
Also, I've brought my patient to the edge of the couch just so the weight will fit on better. Okay, we're now ready to put the, the, um, the weighted bag on. So I'm actually gonna thread that through the weight here, through the bag there. And then it's quite a little bit easier when there's two of you, because then we're gonna pop this round her arm, okay? And slowly let the weights go, just so we're not doing it in, so it's not so much of a shock. So I'm just gonna let that go just gently to increase the weight and just make sure your patient feels comfortable and so that this bag is then hanging over the side of the couch and just right okay that's now at full full weight all right yeah. and just check that it is actually resting on an area where it's not going to cut into you and we can just move the bar and then you can just see how nicely that's all, each one is equal traction to get this wrist back into a good position. And then you would keep it in this position for plastering and you would, you can make a hole. Some um, practitioners, doctors want to actually take them off the finger traps and keep the equal traction and actually then do it by hand and, and continue with that traction while they plaster. Other, um, practitioners etc will want to do it while it's actually in this position and plaster them and you would just then cut this to fit around the thumb and keep this on and actually then apply your plaster in this position your below elbow back slab so okay just to demonstrate that if one of these um, finger traps is a bit loose and they're not equal and one's taut, one's not, um, you can just extend the one that's taut with a cable tie to extend it and then you can get equal um, traction again by just adjusting a cable tie to reach this one to make sure that they're both at equal and there you go just by dropping that slightly makes them at equal um, traction there by using the cable tie to help you.